I believe that I discussed this concept yesterday. Suppose for example, same example I will take. 13579. Just a couple of minutes please hold on sir. 13579. 8. This 8 is nothing but. Can I say that original series is 13579. Original average is 5. Original series is 13579. Original average is 5. What I did is. I increased each and every number by 3 in my original series. I increased each and every number by 3 in my original series. If I increase each number by 3, my average also will increase by 3 from the original average. Earlier the average was 5. Now it is increased by 3. 5 plus 3 will become a new average as 8. Now I also told you in my yesterday's class that it is not only with respect to increase or in with respect to addition, it is also with respect to subtraction or multiplication. Suppose for example, if I multiply everything by 3, it is 3, 9, 15, 21, 27. Average of the original series is 5. Average of the original series is 5. Average of the new series is 15. Average of the new series is 15. I multiplied each and every term by 3. I multiplied each and every term by 3. If I multiply each and every term by 3, my average will also multiply by 3. 5 into 3 is how much? 5 into 3 is 15. I believe that this is very very clear for you people. Whatever I have discussed in my yesterday's class. Right, now before I move forward. Is there too much of echo issue sir? Is it too much of echo issue? I will try my level best one last time to reset the audio cable. Just give me a minute sir. One last time I will try to reset. Let us see whether it is working fine or not. This is the key point what we learned yesterday. Now see here sir. We solved a couple of problems also using this key point in our yesterday's class. One of the problem was scattering to addition. The, and the other problem was catering to multiplication. Now please see this first question of today's class. Now listen carefully sir. Listen to this question. Now see this first question. Your first question is the average of 9 numbers is 11. That means there are 9 different numbers. Right? There are 9 different numbers. The average of these 9 numbers, different numbers or same numbers, it might be anything. The average of 9 numbers, it is 11. Right? That is the first statement. The average of 9 numbers is 11. If each of these 9 numbers is multiplied by 5, that means each number I will multiply by 5. I just told you this key point. If each number in the given series is multiplied by 5, my average also will be multiplied by 5. That means my new average as of now is 55. All these numbers will be whatever the numbers which was there earlier multiplied by 5 and the new average is 55. If each of these 9 numbers is multiplied by 5 and then 5 is added to each of these resulting numbers for these resulted numbers again I am adding 5. Right? Again I am adding 5. Again, I will use the same key point. If each number in the given series is increased by 5, my average also will increase by 5. Then find the new average. That means the new average is nothing but how much? It is 55 plus 5. 55 plus 5 is 60. Very, very beautiful question. Using a key point, we don't even know what is the numbers. We don't even know which are those 9 numbers, which is giving the average as 11. But still we end up with the answer as 60. Each number is multiplied by 5 initially. That means average also is multiplied by 5. That means the average became 55. Again for this new set of numbers, again each number is added by 5. That means the average also will be added by 5. Final answer new average will be 60. Earlier in our previous class, we took one question where it was only on increase. We took another question where it was only on multiplication. This is a question where it is a combination of increase and multiplication. I believe that the key point whatever we have learnt is very very clear for you people. I believe it is clear sir. I hope my students are not facing issues with respect to audio. And it is clear for you people. I never faced this audio issues from the last so many classes of mine way long before I had faced this issue. But I really don't know why it had come again. Average is 60. New average is 60. I hope the idea is clear. Next question. Before solving the next question. 
again another key point what we discussed yesterday whatever we discussed yesterday we will revisit for another 5 minutes sir afterwards everything will be new questions right listen carefully i told you this key point yesterday if all the numbers in the series let all the numbers be 20 average will also be 20 right average is also 20 i will increase it by 7 it becomes 27 i will decrease it by 3 it becomes 17 i will decrease it by 4 it becomes 16 again the average is 20 itself the reason is there is an increase of 7 there is an increase of 7 to nullify that increase there is a decrease of 7 i will increase it by 3 it becomes 30 i will decrease by 1 it becomes 16 i will decrease by 2 it becomes 14 again my average is 20 itself that means i told you a very very important key point in my yesterday's class saying that if i want to get my average as 20 i can keep on generating as many series like this as possible any number of series infinite number of series i can keep generating but the most easiest series which i can generate out of all the series is making all the numbers in the given series as 20 that means if the average is 20 make all of them as 20 vice versa is also true if all of them are 20 then my average will be 20 using this concept we have solved so many questions in our yesterday's class also right so many questions we have solved in our yesterday's class also in my yesterday's class the last question whatever i took where a student is joining the class i will repeat that question once again for a couple of minutes and then i will take it forward for our today's problems i hope the idea is clear sir this idea should be very very clear if the average is 20 make all of them as 20 that is the idea now see here yesterday we discussed the problem we will revisit that problem for two minutes and then we will come back to all our problems of today's class now see here your question is the average weight of 10 students in a class was 70 kgs what is the meaning of average of 10 students is 70 average of 10 students is 70 means all the 10 students are 70 kgs of weight i am writing 10 students all the 10 students are 70 kgs of weight student 1 is 70 student 2 is 70 student 3 is 70 student 10 is also 70 and therefore my average is 70 right therefore my average is 70 read the next statement find the average weight when an 11th student weighing 81 kgs joins the group there is 11th student right there is 11th student he is joining the class his weight is 81 kgs the weight of the new student is given he is the 11th student who is joining the class when the 11th student who is waiting weighing 81 kg joining joins the class find the average weight of the entire class is the question now see here sir instead of using for some formulas and solving this question can i say that earlier there are 10 students who are there in the class average weight is 70 kg that means all the 10 students are 70 kg of 70 kg of weight now 11th student is joining the class his weight is 81 kg that means compared to all these 10 students who are there in the class already compared to all these 10 students who are there in the class there is a new student who is 81 kg compared to all these 10 students who are 70 kg this person who is having 81 kg he is bringing 11 kg extra inside the class he is bringing 11 kg extra inside the class and including him there are 11 students right now in the class there are 11 students right now and there are 11 kgs extra inside the class these 11 students should have these 11 kgs extra equally distributed these 11 kgs extra should be equally distributed among 11 students that means that means every student will get every student will get 1 kg extra right every student will get 1 kg extra we learnt a key point already saying that if each person's weight is increased by 1 if each person's weight is increased by 1 average will also increase by 1 earlier the average was 70 
now the new average will be increased by 1 it will become 71 answer for this question is 71 very very logical way of problem solving we will use this key point what are the key point we will use in our all our problems in today's class if the average in, if each person's weight is increased by x average also will increase by x if all the numbers are 70s average will be 70 if the average is 20 all numbers are 20 these are the key points before the start of solving problems in my today's class i discussed a couple of key points and we will see how that key points can actually solve all our problems in the most easiest way possible in our today's class i hope the idea is clear sir i hope the idea is very very clear do not worry about the question i will slowly slowly take varieties of questions in my next few minutes of my class i hope the idea should be very very clear for you now please see the next question what is this question in this question can i say that there are 10 students in the class average weight is given average weight is given as 70 kgs there is a student there is a new student who is joining the class his weight is also given as 81 kgs his weight is also given as 81 kgs i need to find the new average weight right i need to find the new average weight that means new average weight is asked in this question weight of the student is given in this question right weight of the student is given in this question now please see my next question sir please see my next question see this question let us read the question let us see the difference between this question and our previous question the average weight of a class of 29 students is 40 kgs there are 29 students in the class average weight is given as 40 kgs right average weight is given as 40 kgs this information was also given in my previous question the meaning of this is all the 29 students are 40 kgs of weight that is the meaning of this if the weight of the teacher be included uh, that means there is a person there is a teacher who is joining the class that is the meaning of it if the weight of the teacher be included the average rises by 500 grams because the teacher is joining the class because the teacher is joining the class now my new average weight average weight rises by 500 grams that means it will increase by 0 0.5 kgs earlier it was 40 kgs now it is increasing by 0 0.5 kgs new average weight becomes 40.5 what is the weight of the teacher i am interested in finding the weight of the teacher this was given in my previous question this was asked in my previous question this is the reverse of previous question but till the question is joining only right till the question is joining only i believe that you are able to understand whatever i am trying to say now see here sir let us visualize it in the way i want my students to understand there are 29 students all the 29 students are 40 kgs of weight fourth student fifth student sixth student 28th student 29th student is also 40 kgs this is my first statement now because the teacher joined the class average weight becomes 40.5 that means can i say that including of a teacher now there are 30 people inside the class now there are 30 people inside the class all the average is 40.5 means all the 30 people will now become 40.5 kgs right all the 30 people will now become 40.5 kgs 29th person also will become 40.9 40.5 30th also will become 40.5 right now what is the question your question is find the weight of the teacher right find the weight of the teacher can i say that what should be the weight of the teacher sir teacher when she is entering the class when he or she is entering the class first student was 40 he should become 40.5 teacher gave 0.5 rupees to the first student teacher gave 0.5 rupees to the second student teacher gave 0.5 rupees to the third student like that teacher gave 0.5 rupees or in other words the teacher gave 50 paisa for all the 29 students and she also kept 50 paisa that means all the 30 people they got 0.5 paisa 0.5 rupees that means from teacher everyone got 15 rupees inclusive of teacher 15 rupees and 
teacher herself was 40, another 40 kg she need to bring inside. So the weight of the teacher is 15 rupees she contributed for the entire class, including herself. And another 40 kg she is bringing inside the class. Answer is the weight of the teacher is 55 kg. Very, very logical way of problem solving again. We are not interested. And I am telling you once again, sir, you don't need to write all these statements in your examination. You don't need to write actually. I am writing it for your explanation purpose. That does not mean that you should also write 40, 40, 40, dash, 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 40. There is no need for it. I am just writing it only for me to explain you people so that it becomes easier for you to understand the concept what we have discussed previously before solving problems. I hope the idea is clear, sir. I hope the idea is clear. For every person, including herself, she kept on giving 40, oh, sorry, 0.5 rupees or in other words, 50 paisa. Actually, it is 0.5 kgs in this question. I am just converting to rupees. That means everyone got totally 15 rupees from teacher and she herself had another 40 rupees left with her. So, total weight is 40 plus 15. It is 55 kgs.